Hello there. Long time no see. <laughs> what am I doing? Hi, now that that little weird introduction's out of the way, I bet you introduce myself. Hiya, I'm Michael McGee and I uh, run the Central I basically the guy who's created it. And I play Doctor Who in uh, my series of audio adventures and uh, I, I am the writer as well of most of them and of uh, this story here, which is Silence of the Cloisters, the first in my Tales in Time little mini-series. Uh, this is a confidential episode for it. I'll just probably enable it episode one or something. And I'm going to be telling you a little, little bit of tidbits behind how I did it, how we created it, and just a few little informative things. Think Doctor Who Confidential, back when it used to be all right. Obviously, of course, I don't have any on-set footage because... <laughs> So now, on to the creation of the story. Uh, Tales in Time is something a bit different for me, because I, myself, am used to creating a full cast audio dramas, you know, like with more than just one cast member. Like, the first five I've got had a, uh, a combo of me, my friend James, who, funnily enough, plays James Locke. Well, played, he sort of got a... You know, but, yes. Um... And uh, obviously some other people that we saw offline and who volunteer nicely to play characters for the series as I have no money. But um, yeah, uh, it's something new for me this. I've never really been, uh, I've never really been challenged to write it in a short trick style format. Which involves a bit of prose in a sense, like it involves a bit of scene description which was interesting. But also a bit daunting because it's like coming out of your comfort zone a little bit but... I enjoyed it and um, yeah, I'll go on to tell you a little bit about the inspiration for the story. Well, the inspiration for Silence of the Cloisters, um, it was mainly behind me wanting to explore what I would imagine my particular doctor's um, interpretation of grief would be. Because, a uh, little spoiler here, but if you don't know, in the last story that I um, published, the doctor lost his travelling companion James. Uh, James got exterminated, which is uh, <laughs> not very good for me. So I wanted to explore some of them little times that you don't see on TV. Like obviously we have things like Heaven Sent, where we see the Doctor's grief get explored thoroughly. But I wanted to see it explored in the quieter moments, the moments where there's no villain, there's no bad alien monster coming after him. There's just him sat in his TARDIS thinking and his, and James's phone starts ringing which is a reminder of obviously his deceased friend like if you've ever lost someone you'll know some of the worst parts of actually remembering said person are the moments like where something of theirs either pops into your life like maybe you find an old photo an old pair of shoes or something they're usually the worst parts and I wanted to explore what that was like for the doctor this man who lived for ages and funny I didn't actually write any dialogue where I actually had to perform as a doctor it was all done from a sort of narrative perspective like you could interpret that as being inside the doctor's mind you could interpret it as just being like a prose narration it, it's up to you and I wanted to leave it sort of vague but yeah um, I didn't really want a villain because I wanted it to be a bit more of a like almost like a deleted scene what you wouldn't see but something like not usually seen on who if that makes sense and uh, the inspiration behind the story as well was just some of my own experiences with obviously grief and sadness and depression and all that so I wanted to delve into how someone like the doctor who's such a thinker and has experienced all of this trauma and beauty fair enough they've been fair enough in his life would experience it so yeah that's some of the inspiration behind the actual idea of the story I'd say the short stories have been interesting in the fact that they've been kind of different to write compared to normal scripts I find because with normal scripts 
um, a lot of it, a lot of the scene creation, as I call it, you have to sort of include in the dialogue. Like, you have to have a character mention something to give the impression of a room being like that, or you have to edit uh, the ambience of a scene. All these little stuff, you have to be a lot more nuanced with it. But with these, you can really use your vocabulary and your uh, imagination, along with prose and narration, to sort of bring a scene to life in a sort of way that allows for a bit less techno babble dialogue or a bit less scene building but also I think it allows you to get really inside your character's head and explore that sort of thing that you'd see in like a book like I'm reading Stephen King at the moment and you can picture just by the words so being able to transfer that into a short little narrated audio story has been something a bit different but I'm actually quite liking the format to be honest I still like the normal format of a full cast audio drama, but it's definitely it's definitely fun to be able to think, okay, I'll try and describe this scene without spending hours looking for a raindrop sound effect or anything like that. In terms of performing the short trip, it's sort of weird, because I never actually played the Doctor in it thinking about it. I sort of had to use a narration voice, which was something new for me, because I've never really done narration. But, yeah, that's a work in progress, and... Uh, I've got a few feedbacks that it may have been a bit too posh, so you know that's a that's a learning curve, but it's something that I'm glad to learn from. So, yeah, uh, it's been different, uh, easier in some aspects, but different in others because you sort of have to make sure that your writing's on point in order to sort of create a scene without having to rely on all of the sound effects because there isn't as many in it. I find when you're doing a short trip, that is. As for the future of these short trip tales, originally I was just going to experiment with a few while I create, obviously, series. Uh, the second part of series one, I think it is. Yeah, uh, I was just going to experiment with a few of them, but I might actually keep them around as sort of intermittent content between seasons, or maybe it's just little bonus content, because thinking about it, it really is a, a good well of content to explore that I couldn't do in a full episode. Like, I could make an episode, I don't know, about the Doctor going for a haircut if I wanted to. I would bore you with that, but who knows? There's so many little niche elements you could touch up upon, and I could visit characters that maybe couldn't have a full episode around them, or maybe side characters that I thought could do with a little bit of expansion and would be interesting to see how they're doing after a certain episode and so on. And I thought that was great, and I've actually got another writer lined up for the third story in the ones that I've got planned so far, the third little short tales, uh, that will be getting announced on my Twitter, which you should go follow, um, probably within the next few weeks or whenever the guy's actually finished it, but yeah, Nick's making a brilliant story and I'm sure you will all enjoy it, I am. So, as for a general update on the channel, the production of, you know, the series, um, it's going well. Uh, Episode 1, uh, both parts of that are written, my dialogue is mostly recorded, although I think I need to go back and re-record a few things, um, and I'm just trying to associate and get other pieces of the dialogue from other actors. Um, the series is going under a format change, meaning that it's not going to be one massive like new series style, 45 minutes to an hour story, it's going to be like an hour story split into two half an hour chunks released bi-weekly, so part one this Saturday, part two that Saturday, next story, if that makes sense. And uh, for the second half of the series, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six and seven stories. I think we're taking it up to uh, the original new series style um, episode title, episode sort of length of about 13 episodes. But done in a more classic like half and half style like there's gonna be two parts in there which is like essentially it'd be a classic four part but done in a more sort of like there's two different stories which in connect which interconnect but all come under different titles if that makes sense and i can announce that um episode well story one of uh, series one part b will be titled the roundhead rebellion and will introduce a new historical companion, Joan Denton. How she comes to join the TARDIS, you'll have to wait and see, but yeah, I've got some very interesting stuff planned for this half of the season. There's some stuff I wish I could tell you about and that I have wanted to do for years and that 
all out of my absolute passion. If you know me as a Doctor Who fan, there's a certain I'm not I'm not gonna go into that, but some I've wanted to do for absolutely ages, so yeah. <laughs> I recommend you um stick around with that because it's gonna be a new uh, it's gonna feel like a new series of adventures. The doctor's gone through some crap and it's gonna reflect on certain aspects and yeah, I'm excited for you all to see that. So yeah, some excitement coming. <laughs> this has been a Doctor Who Confidential Episode 1, I think it is, for Silence of the Cloisters, a short trip tale in time, as it were. Uh, if you enjoyed this, uh, the other videos are going to be coming for the following short trips and eventually the episodes of the series. Comment down below your opinions. Did you find anything of this interesting? What do you want to know next time? Stuff like that, etc. Drop it down below. Subscribe if you want more content like this. Share it around if you think anybody would be interested. If you have any friends that have watch the channel and would like to see it share it around and uh follow me on twitter it should be down in the description i'm usually on there chat chat to us whatever do whatever so yeah i've been michael mcgee here from nerd central i hope you enjoyed this confidential and i'll see you next time goodbye